Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. I may sound a little weird today. I'm sorry, but I've been sick these days. Last lesson four, someone asked me a good question. He said, is it right to read note with your eyes? And how can I read notes with the eyes? Yes, you have to read notes with your eyes first before you play piano. Of course, you have to practice with your fingers, but before you play it, you always have to read music with your eyes. Step up, step down, skip up, skip down. How many skips, how many steps? or the combinations. I will tell you a little more details about how to read the notes with your eyes and how to practice it at the end of this lesson. Let's move into the lesson. We're going to learn skip on lines. No matter how many lines are in the music, if notes are moving from line to line, that's a skip. Skip is you skip one and go to the next one. So jumping to the next key, like this. So you skip one and go to the following one. Skip and go to the next one. So skip is always like this. You have something between. So as many as line is there, if you're skipping it, if you have four lines and if you skip it, then from one line to next one, three, Four, that's four lines. What if you have five lines to skip up? That's how it be. Now look at the practice one. There are two lines. The first line is E. So every note on this line is E. Where is E? Two black keys. The first one is a C, D, E. Here is E. What is the next line? E from skip up. G. So line to line is a skip. E to skip is here to G. Let's play on the piano. The starting note is on E, so E. To next note is a skip up to G like this. And the starting finger number is two. So it will be like this. Ready? One, two, three, play. Skip up, skip down, skip up, skip down, repeat, skip up, repeat, another repeat, skip down, skip up, down, skip up, skip down. Step up, two count. If you're looking at the beginning of the song, you can see the numbers. The bottom number is four and top number is question mark. But it sounds like two numbers. What is it called? Time signature. What is the time signature? Time signature tell you how many beats in a measure. Now, then how many beats are in the each measure? First measure, let's check. One, two, three, four. There are four beats. Therefore, the missing number on the top of the time signature is four. So we have a four beats in a measure. Corona gets one count. That's what it means. This time, let's play a little fast on the same hand position on E with finger number two. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Two, skip, E, skip up, skip down, repeat, skip up, repeat, repeat again, skip down, skip up, skip down, skip up, skip down, step up, to count. This time, try on different line. Instead of E, Try on G. How are we going to do? Now, the bottom line will be G then. F, G. With finger number two, then what is the next note? Skip up from G. So it will be here. So we have 
G and B. That's all the note that we have. Let's try. One, two, ready, play. G, B, skip down, skip up, skip down, C note, skip up, C note. Repeat again. Skip down, skip up, skip down, skip up, skip down, step up. Two. That's how you play. If notes are moving from space to space, that's a skip two. Same as line to line, you skip a key and going up to the following keys. Look at the practice too. This time, the space is E. Every note on the space is called E. There are so many E's in the beginning. How many E's do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven E's. Then skip up, down, up, repeat, and skip down, down. Let's see in the piano. The first note is on E, so C, D, E. Find hand position with the right hand, E with this time finger number three instead two. So we will start with the three on E. We have seven E's at the beginning. Let's start slow. One, two, three, play. E, 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 two count. Another repeat. Skip up, skip down, skip up, repeat, skip down, and another skip down to here. So we have, if you're looking at the very last measure, from here to skip down to skip down. So E is between, and then the first note is a higher than E, skip up from E. And the last note is a skip down from the E. It's just the same as practice one. The difference is notes are moving space to space instead of line to line. This time, let's play a little fast. Same hand position on E with the finger number three. One, two, three, four. E, E, to count, repeat. That's it. What is the time signature? 4-4. Four, four. How do we know? Yes, because there are four beats in each measure. First measure, one, two, and one half note, which is two count. So two plus two is four. So that's four. This time, let's try on space A instead of E. Then F, G, A here. So at the beginning, we have seven A repeated notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After that, skip up to C, skip down to A, skip up to C again, and then C note, and then we skip down and down. That will be the song. Let's try with counting the rhythm. One, two, three, play. A, repeat, repeat, two. A, repeat, repeat, two count. Repeat again. Skip up, skip down, skip up, repeat, skip down, skip down, two count. Now, if you can play it well, then try on space B. So how you do? B, start on B. Then you repeat seven times and skip up 
down, up, repeat, skip down, down. That's how you will do. This time, we will go over how to read a notes with eyes. It's reading practice. Here is one of very famous technique exercise called Hanong. It looks very confusing and really hard, but it's not. If you look carefully, you can read it. All we need to know is what is the beginning line. For example, since it's a trouble clap, we will learn later what is no name. But don't think about it, no name. I will just give you one line name. This is a G. Then what is the next note? Line to line, you skip up. So you just play a skip off from the note and step up, step up, step up, step down, 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 and down. Basically, you just go skip up and step up. How many times? One, two, three. And then you're stepping down. One, two, three, four, and skip up again. That's all you have. And then the same way. Step, step up, up, down, 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 step down here. And here is another skip, line to line. Do you see it? Reading notes practice means you have to able to recognize difference between skip and step. If you see it line to line, that's a skip. Space to space, that's a skip. And space to space, here is another skip. What about all these are? Step. No matter which clef you are in, there are the different clef. Travel clef and bass clef. We will learn that one later. That's fine. You don't have to know right now. That's a space note. And that's another space note. How do we know this is a space note? Because there is no lines. Then that's a space. So space to space is a skip. What about that one? Aha, uh -huh, that seems like a line note. Why? Because line is crossing on the note. Then space to line is a step up. That's how you see it. So when you practice reading notes, try to figure it out, step and skip as fast as possible. Sometimes it looks like all the same. You have to be able to find it fast. In the next lesson, we're going to play two more songs on two lines. We have just learned how to read music with your eyes and how to read scores, skip and step, and even the combinations of skip and step. Stay good and healthy. Good luck on your practice. Thank you for watching this video.